You fucking crazy man. You sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. Yo, what up, psychos? What's good, man? It's Dylan. We're back again. This is another episode. You guys already know what it is. I'm here right now with a very special guest all the way from L.A. His theme music is about to be dropped because you already know where he's from. Let's hear it. <laughs> and also home of Jamar Malachi Neighbors. Yeah, What's good? Buddy. What a good intro, right, bro? I love that <laughs> shit, man. That shit was hard, man. <laughs> shit. He's already like, I know exactly how serious I should take this podcast now. Yeah, man. Nah, man. Welcome, bro. Well, welcome to New York City. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, I love dude. this place, man. It's dope as fuck. Yeah. How, uh, how long are you in town for? Till October 2nd. Okay. Oh, yeah. my birthday. Dope. Oh, that's your birthday? Yeah, yeah I knew you thought what? about that. Yeah, man. October you partying 2nd. out here or out? I'll be here. What? Yeah, we'll figure out something to do. I feel like I should. You should just... wait one more day? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. First the party? Yeah. Like... Party with Jamar Malachi neighbors, What are you going to do? I don't know, man. To be honest, I'm kind of... Wait, hold on one second. I'm going to turn off that AC. That's going to be loud as fuck. I'm going to... I'm going to be totally honest, man. For my birthdays, I'm kind of lame. I like... I mean, I'm turning 26. Like, no one gives a fuck about that. You're 26? You 26? Know? I'm 26. Yeah. yeah. I'm a. I did one of those uh, escape rooms last year with like eight comics. Yeah. And it was kind of mad funny. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. Or like with comics and like old homies from high school. And it was just fun because we were like, fuck, like fucking around in it. And. But then everyone starts to take it kind of seriously. And then you see people like really trying to solve it. What is an escape room? They. Uh, it's basically like. I hear about them. They got them in LA. Yeah, I mean, they got them all over, man. Yeah. yeah, but LA and New York are like the main. Hu- it's basically you like pay money to be like locked in this. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. my eyes already widened. Yeah, <laughs> pay money to be uh, like put into these rooms that are themed, and either like you know it's a zombie apocalypse or there's a there's an outbreak or you got to solve this murder and there's all these clues and shit and that leads you to different keys and locks and then. Within an hour, you're supposed to solve everything, and then that's how you open the final door. Wow. I mean, obviously, if you call, like, yo, let me out, then someone will let you out, <laughs> but you're not allowed to go back in. Uh, but it's it's kind of cool because you see everyone first be like, okay, you know, oh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. It'll be fun. And then five, ten minutes in, they're like, yo, man, I told you, you got to try. Like, they get super, <laughs> yeah, and everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. all of a sudden gets super serious. It's very funny. I want to do one. They're cool. This guy just told me about something you have here at the Samsung Theater or something. It's where you can like walk on the moon or something oh, like that. Oh, is it th- that the one in the West Village? Yeah. At the Samsung store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just heard of the VR there. I didn't know that they had something like that crazy. Oh. Uh. That sounds sick. I don't... I mean, dude, the stuff they're doing with VR now is like insane. Yeah. I don't know. Like... Have you tried any of the, like Oculus Rift or any of that shit? No, but V VR, it's like well, why does anybody want to be here? Yeah, like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why are people trying to go other places? Yeah, like <laughs> it's re- it's so fucking silly. <laughs> yeah, you're just like you just want to be in uh, not not on Earth. Not you want to be here, but you don't want to be here. You you want to be imagining you're on a better version <laughs> of Earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what that reminds me of? Where- <laughs> I listened to you on on, on Rogan. You ha- you have one specific sound clip that I thought was very funny. They're talking to, about depression, and you were just like, "Nigga, get some ice cream." <laughs> <laughs> oh man, depression, man. Yeah, man. It's like, man, <laughs> man, don't quit crying like a little bitch. <laughs> like, go take a walk, bro. <laughs> damn, go swimming. <laughs> go swimming, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, people! People got at me for that, man. I was gonna, like, I was gonna ask you, man. Did people get on get get on your ass for saying some shit like that? Ka- yeah, kind of. They were like, they were like, this stupid fuck doesn't even know what depression <laughs> is. And I was like, isn't that a good thing? Yeah, yeah, true. Like, you know, like <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Yeah, I mean, you you were also joked like a second after, and you're like, I'm obviously like ignorant and like I'm making a joke. Yeah, but everyone's like, man, this guy's insensitive as fuck. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm both. I'm mixed. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're both insensitive and ignorant. Good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. it's better than the other way. I don't know. That's... I mean, I, I just, I've, I've probably been depressed and just didn't know it. Yeah, like, or you've had one of those. Because I get over it. Or, yeah. or I, I know enough to know that the human condition, and I, I, I think about the human condition a lot. Okay. So I'm at the like, oh, this is a low. You know, I think like oh, that. Oh, okay. you, you kind of like, you'll you'll tell yourself, oh, this is one of those moments. Yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm going to get past it. I think I'm aware or something like that where I'm like, this yeah. is a low. Just go through it. It's probably trying to teach you something. Then after you get out of it, and then you're like, all right, I'm back in it. You know, there's highs and lows, right? Do you know. think that's uh, like part of growing up? Like, was that like your parents and how they instilled in you or what? No, it's probably just something that I, um, I mean, I guess like growing up, I didn't have like, I didn't have like the best, um, upbringing? Like the best upbringing. Where'd you shit. grow up? I grew up in, in Compton. Compton yeah. yeah, grew up in Compton and shit. And with like, well, I lived with my aunt and uh-huh. cousins and shit. And where I wasn't getting a lot of attention, I got bullied and this uh-huh. and this and that or whatever the fuck. So it was just the norm or whatever. So I was a, so when when I get up, I can just handle a lot. You think you like from a young age you realized. You like dealt with shit, which made your bar for what was bad maybe higher and higher. Yeah, it, made, you, it made me insensitive. <laughs> <laughs> or be like, like, yo, shut up. There's real stuff going on. Yeah, like yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. Pot- I mean, I don't know what part of Compton you were in, or like how, but like someone potentially <laughs> the getting home like, part. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so like shit where people didn't have families, or like maybe we're like in gangs or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of. Like, yeah, I, yeah. Like I had. I was in some foster homes and uh-huh. shit, but I had like family and shit, but it still felt foster homey. Yeah, it was like wasn't your like true fam? E- or they, 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 it wasn't my mom and my and a dad. Okay, or, you know it wasn't. Yeah, like it was. That. Yeah, it wasn't your mom. I was and no dad. one's kid. You know. Yeah. yeah. And do you remember when? Do you remember like first realizing that? Uh, shit. Maybe like six. Being like, seven. oh damn. I'm not with my mom and my dad. Yeah, but you don't know it's a you don't know it's you don't know it's not a a bad. I mean, you don't know it's a bad thing. Quote, until yeah, quote like, unquote. Bad, yeah, until you get treated a certain way, and then you're like, "Am I? Did I? Did I? I just got. <laughs> I'm only six. I just got here. Like, what's like what's like going some, on? Like yeah, some yeah. other kid says some shit to you. Yeah, or? like yeah, like my cousins and shit. Oh, really? Like, who were who was who did I live with? Uh-huh. Like I live with my aunt, you know, and her son. And, okay. And everything, and uh, you know, he was like, "Oh, you know, like, that's why your mom's this and this and this oh, and that." Okay. And I was like, well, "What the fuck does that have to do with me?" You know, like uh, I, that's that. That was the start of me going, "I don't care," because they would start to equate you with because your mom was out not doing a yeah, good shit, yeah, yeah, whatever it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he was like, "That's why your mom's this or whatever." Uh-huh. Anyway, I, I didn't know whether to be heard or not by it, but I was like, I used to be like, oh man, that's her life and this and this and that. They try to hurt me with that. And then I think that's when I started saying, I don't give a fuck. You know, I don't care. I mean, and like that's what, that was the start of, of like the numb be like becoming like numb, numb to like, it. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what was going on with your mom? Uh, just like drug problems. Drugs, you know? yeah, yeah, it was and Compton. So, it was the eighties and yeah, shit. Crack people was having everything. fun. Yeah, people was having fun. <laughs> people was having fun. I be I always think about that shit. Like, like, like we talk down like on like crackheads and uh-huh. drug addicts and shit. But I'm like, if, if this is the eighties in Compton, I'd probably be doing that shit too. Yep. You know? I mean, I mean, I love, I love crack. <laughs> I, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're like, well, man, I got to tell you, you ever smoke crack? It's really good. If we doing weed, if we doing weed now, yeah, like like so much fucking weed now, and shit like that, ain't no telling what you would have been doing like, back, back in the then. 80s when it became like normal. I, yeah, I, I should. Or not I, normal, just uh, yeah. If I was in the 80s, I'd be doing crack. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, <laughs> quote that's, me. That's the, yeah, that's a quote from, from Jamar for this. Jamar Malachi Neighbors. <laughs> if I was in the 80s. I'd be doing crack. <laughs> but yeah, so do, do you remember being like, because when you say numb, were you getting numb to it or do you think you were just not allowing it to affect? Because numb kind of insinuates, oh shit, like I'm going to ignore it and not allow to feel anything. Do you feel like you ignored your emotions or more you just chose to, like we were talking about with Kevin Hart's book um, before we started recording, did you, did you choose to kind of be more positive? Mm, I think like kind of, kind of like 
both sees or whatever. I think yeah. they, they kind of go hand in hand. Uh huh. You know, like you'd be you'd be a little like you'd be a little like numb to him, like okay, he's gonna do he's gonna do and say this all the time. You know, okay. so it's it's like a motherfucker like always telling you that you're tall and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, you get, uh, bro, I'm over. You know, what yeah, I'm you saying? start so to you get, get kind of first yeah. you hate it and then you go like I don't really give a shit anymore. Yeah, like yeah, talk yeah. about yeah. And then after that, you know, you develop a. And I've always been like kind of like br- bright, like as far uh-huh. as like positive and everything too, though. So yeah. I'm not a. I'm not stoic or like yeah. you know, that shit. I'm like, all right, cool. So what's next? You know? Yeah, like, yeah. You just you just always going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you so that was maybe just you in general, and not just like where you were growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I've always been a, a sweetheart. A sweetheart. <laughs> you like you like calling yourself a sweetheart. A sweetheart. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you yeah, know. No. I think I think women I think women like <laughs> women like sweethearts. Women like sweet, yeah. So I'm like, if you if you um, so maybe if I had to call myself a sweetheart, all the female listeners out yeah, there, give the nigga some pussy. Yeah, get- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I got a sweetheart. You want to give him some pussy? Sweet pussy, dick. Just like... <laughs> Sweetheart and sweet dick. This, yo, this is Jamar's reaction when you offer him some pussy. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's Jeremiah Watkins in, pres- in person. <laughs> Jamar. Uh, yo, when I heard that, I laughed so fucking hard. Yeah, I yeah. had to pull that clip because... That shit made me laugh so hard. The podcast? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jeremiah Watkins has his own podcast, Jeremiah Wonders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And... <laughs> Uh, you can listen to the one that uh, Jamar is impersonating a girl trying to get some pussy from himself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, sweetheart is sweetheart. But I mean, when you, if you, I mean, especially, I mean, you got clothes on now, fucking obviously. But uh, you're a ripped ass dude, so someone might not look at you and be like, "Oh yeah, that guy is just a sweet, positive dude." And they might be like, "Yeah, you know, people think like, oh, if someone's in the gym, they're gonna be like rage face." Yeah, but. The gym is just for discipline, though. Like you know, I well, I use it for that and shit too. I mean, everything else comes along like with it. You uh-huh. know, I mean, like the body and the, you know, but it's the mindset. really just for like discipline and shit. Like when you're out here and dealing with shit, you think it keeps you centered? Hell yeah, yeah. Hell I yeah. mean, I do too. Yeah, it yeah, definitely yeah, keeps yeah. me kind of like I feel like it almost. I'll choose to do that almost before other stuff because I feel like it. Once I do that, then I'm like, I'm allowed to do other stuff. Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you, you, you've you, earned... Um, the ability to go out and try shit out. Mm-hmm. Yep. And do, do stand-up or do whatever artistic thing you want to do. Because mm-hmm. if you don't, sometimes you feel like... It almost feels like there's this blockage in my, like in my brain sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I have to get that energy out yeah yeah some way or i can't do or i can't do anything no I, seriously and it's so funny man because i've been out here since uh the fifth and mm. i haven't even hit a gym really but but there is something about but it, there is something about like the city of new york at least for me where it's like where it's like i kind of want to wake up early and just walk out and go like i almost yeah. don't need the gym kind of sort of like a lot of energy here yeah 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 yeah. it it's, could be a lot yeah i mean it's you, a mental gym kind of sort of especially like thinking about like the train system and all that shit yeah you where got you to, at yeah. all, you don't like, have to do uh, cars here hell no no i like i personally like driving though but out here i would never drive i mean hell, it's a nightmare dude I, I i was hanging out with a comic recently and he was driving uh-huh. and we were we were taking a freeway in new york oh what the fd like the west side or east side highway or whatever it was yeah and i yeah, was yeah. like and i was like i was like i hate this <laughs> <laughs> i will get out and walk right now I'm like, <laughs> you'd rather take the train hell yeah, yeah. i mean pe- pe- people don't like how stanky the train is and sh- i love that shit for some reason it, I don't it know. feels real bro yeah they may yeah i don't know it feels real what uh? So you got a, So you got a mohawk on right now. People yeah. not listening. I'll take a picture of the, you at the end. Yeah. And so what? You just rocking that? Yeah, man. You just feel like it, right? Yeah, man. It's what sweethearts do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to rebrand yourself as Jamar the sweetheart? Yeah, Jamar, man. Jamar Malachi parentheses the sweetheart <laughs> neighbors. I got a. I got a. I got. A, I'm getting a. T- I'm getting a tattoo of a heart, nigga, on my sternum. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe you right now. I am. I, you might be joking, but I 100 percent believe you. It's gonna be red. Is it? <laughs> mm-hmm. Bright red, and then when I get, and then when I get my sweetheart and shit, and uh-huh. we break up, I'm gonna put you a break. Put, I'm gonna tattoo a break. Yeah. <laughs> like, you already think you're gonna break up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man. What I mean, what uh, are you in a relationship right now? Nah, not really. What's your uh, relationship life been like? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's so funny. This it reminds me of that Mitch Hedberg joke. <laughs> Nigga said, uh, 
what that nigga say? He said, uh, I don't have a girlfriend. I just know a girl who would be really upset if I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. But yeah. um, right now, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't got a girlfriend, I don't think. <laughs> have you had, have you had girls that you've been kind of serious with in the past? Yep. Yeah. I, I've had, um, yeah, I've had like some, um, I've had like two, three real girlfriends uh-huh. and shit. And everybody else has just been like, uh, yeah, for a little bit. We're here. You yeah. Know, like, let's, like, you know. Yeah, that's, which is, I, I mean, I mean, it's so funny, man. It's like, it's like as soon as I like one girl and uh, whatever, and I'm like, oh, I like this one right here. Yeah. And then two more will pop up in my life. And then, and then, and then this one, and then the one that I originally like, she's mm-hmm. still fine. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But this one fucked me faster. And, she, and uh, it's good. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this one, she looks better than the second one. But this one has a great heart. And then, so now I'm dealing with heart versus pussy, you know? Now, well, now you're trying, now, now you as the sweetheart are trying to decide whether you go after the sweetheart or the hot girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with that? Except. <laughs> It's a conundrum, man. Man, dude, I can't wait till I turn turn. I can't wait till I turn. I can't thir- turn. <laughs> I can't wait till I turn thirty five, man, so my brain can finish developing. Yeah, we were so just, I can fucking. Yeah, we were we were talking about how uh, twenty five is when your the male brain is supposed to develop, <laughs> but Jamar's like, no, no, no for me, it's thirty five. It's I, gonna be thirty five. Yeah, so he gets <laughs> he gets to tell girls for the next three years, like, no, hey, you know what? I'm just I'm still developing, you know. Yeah. I still I I, I still got time to to figure it out. That's why I'm not committing. That's yep. that. That's why I'm doing stupid shit, like, like saying we're not dating and uh, people hearing about it and then fucking some other girl. <laughs> I'm a sweetheart. Listen, yeah, it's, <laughs> but I'm a sweetheart though. That's just gonna be your. That's that's just your <laughs> cop out, bro. You just say I'm a sweetheart. It's perfect. Slap so, someone in the face. You're like I'm a sweetheart though. Smoking mirrors. Hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Uh, how long were the relationships you had? Uh, well, the first like, one. are you looking for a serious one, or are you kind of just like focusing on stand up and all that shit? Focusing on, I'm focusing on stand up right now. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I mean, I kind of like somebody, mm-hmm. but then I, I always, I don't know, I always choose, like, I always like, I guess I always like push people away because I think that they're going to interfere in my comedy life. Or, I do that or too. My, or, yeah, my artist life and shit. And it's so, it's so scary. And, and it, and I don't like breaking. I don't like breaking anybody's hearts either, so it looks like I'm just leading them on, kind of sort of and shit like that. I do the exact same thing, and it feels really shitty when you do it. Yeah, because you are trying, and then you're like, "Damn, I have." It looks like I just did this to fuck you a couple times. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> but that's not what it is. No, it's not. And you, what about this? What about this? When you feel, do you? Do, like when you feel the moment of the change, like you feel it's like it's like uh oh yeah it it's just like, happened. <laughs> and like you wa- you watch it happen, like you feel it happen in your brain. You're like oh this is gonna be bad. Fuck. And you're like how do I, how am I gonna get out of this? Oh shit. Oh man, you know what? Maybe I'll fly to New York. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go to New York for. Yeah, I got career stuff to do over there. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, see him at three mics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working. <laughs> like, Come on, hey baby, it's all part. It's all part of the the game, okay? You can't mm-hmm. be getting at me. This is what it is. Yeah. Maybe I'll get married, though. Yeah, we'll how do you feel see. about marriage? I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting idea. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't think, I don't think that humans are supposed to get married. Why not? It's like, it don't make no sense. It's like, you... For one, it's like it's like it's like we're supposed to be at one person forever. Uh-huh. It's like then why do I be wanting to be with fuck so many people? Bitches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why well, I want to fuck on all the hoes? <laughs> I was gonna say you you were being uh, very I'm eloquent not, with that. Even even I'm not most- penguins do that shit, man. <laughs> so oh, like, for penguins? Yeah, I'm yeah. like you niggas is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> If I was a penguin, I'd be fucking all these penguin bitches. Yeah, if you were a penguin, you'd be just be running Give through penguin pussy. Give all these whole pebbles. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Give all these hoes pebbles. Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's hard to... But, but I think that's the whole point of it, maybe. Is that you got, like... 
there's good things that come from it when you know what I mean? It I can see I can see it being like some cool ass security like some cool ass security as far as because a lot of girls can get you in trouble too. Having a lot of girls can get you in trouble too. Oh yeah. You know, I don't I hate drama. You know, like that makes sense. I'll talk some shit. I'll talk shit for sure, but I'm like, I don't like like it, like if it's not related to comedy or some shit like that, like I don't I hate outside fucking drama and shit. I feel like comedy drama is even worse. Yeah, but even even but here but here, like I feel like I know how to like I know how to work comedy drama way better than uh-huh. relationship drama. You know, I think I don't know. You know. Well, you dumb shit in uh, relationships and then have to answer for it. He said what? He said you doing dumb shit in relationships and then have to answer for it. Yeah, I don't like. Yeah, because pe- people's. Well, I guess so. I guess it's still the same in comedy, where it's like people's feelings are at stake and shit too. Yeah. And but I'm numb, so you're fucking with a numb guy. No, yeah, you I'm keep saying that, man. That's but a, my heart's sweet. Yeah, yeah. You can't. <laughs> you're saying the opposite, man. You, <laughs> I'm so, both. I'm mixed. I told you. You think you think maybe you um like I mean you talked about meditation you talk about like you know wanting to you know mature and stuff do you think part of it would maybe be getting more in touch with the emotions that you potentially like pushed away Oh get in touch with my bitch assness Yeah that's what they call it yeah Uh That's definitely the content in you calling it your bitch assness My bitch assness <laughs> yeah. Um what was the question? Like if you like you're getting in touch with the because if you call yourself numb, it sounds like you're not. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. Like I'm a very confused person. Like sometimes I'm numb. Sometimes I'm like very like, emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just depends on like what. Like I. Yeah, like I mean, yeah, maybe that could. Maybe I should go for the challenge. Maybe oh, I should go for the it? challenge. Yeah, like I, that seems like the next step. I mean. Because I, because even even if you're messing with a lot of girls, not not saying mm-hmm. that I'm hoeing. Yeah, not saying that I'm hoeing because I'm a sweetheart. <laughs> but I, um, but I'm like even when you're messing with a lot of girls, it's like I don't know. It's like it's, I don't know. It's two. It's it's two different games. I don't know. Yeah, it seems like even now you're like I could say some nice shit, but I don't want to seem too. I don't want to seem too sweet right now. Yeah, man, my uh You can say it, bro. No, 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 no. I don't Look, some half of the show some half of the show we're going to look at <laughs> stupid ass videos, all right? Okay. No, no, no. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking about right now. No. But uh yeah, uh one girl is cool and 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 a lot of girls is cool too if you can handle it. Just handle just try to handle what you can handle. Yeah. You know, okay. you can go for what you can handle. So, grew up in Compton, grew up with your your aunt Mm-hmm. And your cousins and shit, and we're dealing with them mm-hmm. being shitty or whatever. Is that when you think you first started doing some kind of comedy to get through it, or were you always mm. just goofing around? Well, when I was younger, I was um, let me see. I got to my aunt's house when I was five, mm-hmm. and she already had kids there. She had an older son as my cousin, and she didn't she didn't have a she didn't have a daughter yet, but she had a daughter later or whatever. But uh, the older the older guy um my older cousin and shit like that he would talk about me so fucking much like bag on me like so fucking much in front of you just yeah just clown me like so fucking much in front of how me. old was you or how old was, I was he five he was eight. Oh, what a dick but 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 that was like a but it was kind of like a blessing because he it wasn't like he was fucking funny like, like oh okay he's like fucking funny like he's still even to this day he's one of the funniest motherfuckers like uh uh-huh. And then so I'm like, I wanted, I, I, even though I hated him, I still kind of wanted to be like him yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. too. So I would go home. I would, I, the shit that he would say to me at home, I would go to school mm-hmm. and f- and fuck kids over. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, you fuck kids up, like just roasting like, them ver- shit. verbally. Yeah yeah. 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 Like, just, I was like a fucking, I had, a, and I had like a gang of energy and shit. And uh. so I was, I was, qu- I was like quick and I was like, I was like smart, but I was like really like 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 
everywhere kind of sort of like uh-huh. um like wiry all over the place yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you were just bouncing off the walls yeah like there are there were times in school man where i was i was taking 12 kids out like at like at the same time like i remember taking the whole class out i mean i mean like just like bagging on everybody like just roasting everyone in they, class yeah they were all they were all, they were all trying to gang up on me and i took every and i was taking everyone out like one oh, so you by fucked one. everyone up in the class <laughs> it was so fucking cool that's awesome uh, yeah, i was fucking how old were you do you remember uh, around that time, I was like, it's happened a few times. I was like, I remember the first time it happened and I was like seven. Damn. And so that's like third grade, that second was, grade. Yeah. That's fucking around. What about you, man? What got you into comedy? <laughs> Same shit. Uh, I mean, a little different. I, um, all my friends would, would, uh, would just like make fun of me all the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so... I uh, I just learned to like be the first one to make fun of myself mm-hmm. or just make some dumb joke because I was always like if I'm being ultra goofy or fucking around or something then it's like they can't really then you feel like you're part of it mm-hmm. instead of uh, you know like you're the you're the butt of the joke yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. I still was my my friend group I was always like the butt of the joke and mm-hmm. I was like people were always shitting on me but I always took it as like they liked me that's how I. That's how I chose to um, accept it and, like, think about it. Yeah. And, I mean, I wasn't wrong because they're all, they're, we're all still homies. And they all still kind of do it. And I, it sometimes it pisses me off, but I choose to think about it positively and be like, you know, this is how – it's also how dudes show up. Like, yeah. a, lot, like a, lot of, a lot of dudes, like, the, the way you really know you like a guy or, like, you, like, fuck with him um, is if you're a piece of shit. Like, you just – tear them apart yeah yeah like if someone that i'm like really homies with like you know if like we just met so almost i'm like yo what up like trying to ask you but yeah. it was like six months in i would meet you and then try and find something about your outfit that i was like yo you look whack as fuck yeah and yeah, then it's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah, yeah that's like how it works yeah, yeah and yeah. i kind of learned that from an early age and so like chose to look at it like that and I don't know, like my, my parents were, or my dad was like, would always try and be positive and so was my mom and, um, or they would try to instill that. So I, yeah. I tried to think about that as well, even though my friends would do fucked up shit, bro. Like I remember ninth grade, apparently there was like a, one of my friends, Reza would just, he wanted, he like spread this rumor that I was going to commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like he didn't actually spread it, but he would like talk about it openly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, I think, because one time I was really sad and I like mentioned it. Not yeah, that I was yeah. going to do it, but I was like, oh, you know, sometimes I'm like, what if all this was like not happening? Yeah. Fucking 14, bro. You're going through some shit. Yeah, like yeah, you say yeah. some stuff like that. What if, you, st- you have that thought every single fucking day in New York City and, you're, and everyone's like, yeah, that's normal. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I remember I mentioned it and I don't, maybe he didn't know how to deal with it. So he would just make fun. And then I remember one time there was a like a, an alert at lunch that someone was trying to either like someone was on top of a building or something because um, – I was I was I went to uh, school in Pali mm-hmm. Palisades okay. in L.A. Um, and Pali High, and it was two stories. And he like someone said something, and I wasn't around. And he was like, "Where's Dylan? Where's it?" Like making a joke that I was going to be the one to jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I remember I was like, "That's kind of fucked up, bro." It is. But I took it as it's his way. It's like he's just trying to. I don't know. That's how, like, he just fucking around. Because if he didn't like me, he just wouldn't fuck with me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how when you don't fuck with someone, you just don't chill with them at all. Right, right, you know? right, right, right. Like, Jimmy Peoples is, is a comedian in New York City. Every time I see him, I just give him the finger. Jimmy Peoples, yeah. yeah I know but it's because I like him. Yeah, yeah, If yeah, I yeah. didn't, I just, like, wouldn't say what up to him at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think that's what originally got me into it. But I didn't start doing stand-up until I was, like, 21. Oh, yeah? Because I did it when I was 19 once. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm good. <laughs> like, no. I ate my ass. I, or I ate like dick at uh, the West Side Comedy Club in, in LA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing a mic twice. Yeah. And I was like, I don't, I mean, it's like, I'm going to just like try improv or some shit. Nigga, that's such yeah. a weird room to even start doing comedy. The and, West Side Comedy Club. And it was before it was converted to where it is now. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was like a different room even more. But it is a weird ass room. I, I, I still even go to the West Side today and i'll still have like weird sets there where it was just like man what the fuck is yeah so it's weird and it's also got a really high ceiling and so you're like like yeah. you know the laughs like go away mm-hmm. so you you say a joke that you expect to do really well and then all of a sudden you're like 
wait, what the fuck? Like, yeah, yeah. That is just gone already. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's, got, that's kind of what got me into When did you start thinking about doing stand-up or anything comedic at all? Because it kind of sounds to me, I was going to say, you're, you're known a lot for, like, roasting and being part of the wave. Sounded like you started doing that, like, when you were seven. Oh, like yeah. that. That's the initiate. That's like the inception of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember um, being in school. I've said this on a few but podcasts. I mean, yeah. yeah, but it, but it comes up. I um, where I was killing it in class like one day, and uh, this one kid was like, "Oh man, you should be one of them people that you know, you know, that make people laugh," you know. That's what he said. He didn't even say comedian. He just no. <laughs> and and I always thought I always thought like clown, like you know, like like oh the nose and shit. You know, I was yeah 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 like like oh you mean like you know like a clown you know like yeah, yeah, like yeah. you know but I but he told me that and then that same day like nothing I was walking home because I lived right down the street from school uh-huh. and my uncle Calvin was laughing on the couch my aunt's boyfriend whenever he was laughing on the couch shit I was like, what the fuck is he laughing at and i walk in and um i walk in and he was watching deaf comedy jam oh martin and it was martin lawrence, martin lawrence. Like, hosting and then i was like because i remember like because when the kid when the kid said that i was walking home and i was like is there a, is there a thing that you you know some kind of yeah. thought like that as much as a seven-year-old can make out Whatever, I was like, is there a thing? And then right when I walked in the house, it, he was watching Def Comedy Jam, and I was like, oh, I'll do that. You know, that looks fun. Or Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that was like the... The first thought of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I first did stand-up. I think I was nine or ten in front of um, in front of the classroom, and I ate a dick. Well, I, <laughs> I mean, you're doing it at nine years old. That's pretty, that's pretty boss to even try and do it. I mean, what kind of jokes are you saying? I fucking um I took a joke that I heard off a of comic view. Uh-huh. Um I think I said, um, I don't know whose joke that is, but it was like, um at first I started like fucking with the fucking with the fucking with the class and shit kinda sorta. Okay. <laughs> it was like some it, 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 the doing crowd pro- work was doing not working. Work in it your was own not class? working. <laughs> it was not working. And I said I took this joke, it was like, Oh man, my girl woke me up and she said and she said, uh, and she said, I want IHOP. And I said, oh, you better IHOP your ass on down there to go get it yourself or some shit like that. I don't know whose joke that was, but I heard it on the comic view. Uh-huh. And I said that. And it was kind of funny, but I ate a dick for like two minutes. But it was, but it wasn't that bad. Yeah. Yeah. You already were, you, you were like, if it, this is what bombing is, then I'm okay with it. In some way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You already experienced your first bomb at nine years old. Yeah. And it was like, doing someone else's material. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and I was like, Maybe that nigga wasn't funny. <laughs> like, that's the I problem. I did my own shit. Yeah, exactly. You played it on someone else. And, and then were you doing it growing up or what? And then I, uh, well, in high school, I um, I would always I would always write jokes because then maybe around like 14 or whatever, I knew I was going to be, I knew, knew, knew that I was going to be a comic and mm-hmm. shit. And so I would, I would, I would always like write jokes and shit like that, and I would write them in like little comic strips and shit, kind of sort of. Uh-huh. And I would show them to my friend in high school. He'd be like, "Oh man, that's funny," you know, and shit. And then I, um, but at sixteen, BET was having a, they were having this comedy competition called Coming to the Stage. Yeah, you ever remember that? No, I don't remember about it at all. It's called Coming to the Stage, and I auditioned for the second season. There was an open okay. call on the internet and shit, oh, and I was geez. like, "Auntie, I was like, I'm not going to school. I'm gonna go down here and I'm be, and I, and I, you know, I'm gonna be a comic." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know. And usually, my aunt's like very fucking strict. You know, go to school, no, and then you come home and this and this yeah. and that. But I think she always knew that I want to be a comic, so she was up there like, "All right, you go down there and you be professional." And I was like, "All right, She's already your manager." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking went down there, man. To, it was called Mixed Nuts. I was like 16 and I, yeah, it was all, yeah, and I went down there and I did some, I did, uh, I did my own shit this time. Not the IHOP joke. No, 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 no. I did my own shit. I said, I had a leukemia joke about my cousin. Did your cousin have leukemia? No, she doesn't. Oh. (laughs) But I said, but you know, like black girls, like sometimes they lose their edges if their braids are too tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in the hood, like we, we say, oh, bitch, you bald. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you bald headed. 
So I was like, oh, yeah, man, my cousin talking about she got leukemia. And I was like, bitch, shut up. You just bald. You know? I was, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, make, yeah. Yeah, that shit or whatever. And that got a laugh. And then I ran out of material. I only wrote like two jokes or whatever. I didn't uh-huh. know how long like three minutes was. Yeah, yeah. And I wrote like two jokes. And then I still had time. So then I took the fucking... <laughs> I take the fucking microphone cord. And I just start like jump roping with it. No way. I put that on God, nigga. You did? I did. And people was laughing. They, and people was laughing their motherfucking ass off and shit. And I was up there like, uh, I thought I killed. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, yeah, nigga, the jump yeah. rope bit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean, my clothes are right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't it, even do comedy. I just jump rope. <laughs> And it's so fun. And it's so funny to even. And I didn't get. I didn't get the spot or whatever. But I yeah. really just wanted to go down there to see if I really want could handle comedy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, could I? I didn't think I was gonna get it or anything. And so I went to school. Um, I actually went to school like later that day, and shit. Oh, really? Like, the comedy competition was the the, the open tryouts was like early in the. I'm yeah. sorry, the open tryouts was like early in the morning, like at nine and shit. And then I was oh, like, okay. uh, "You're done by like noon." Yeah, yeah. And so I went back in time. Went back to school for lunch. Oh, okay. And shit like that. And I was like, "Nigga, like, yo, I got it." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, "Hey," I told my best friends, "I was like, nigga, I'm about to do stand up." <laughs> I was like, he, he "Are you was, talking to a famous person right now?" I was like, "Nigga," <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I'm about to do stand up." <laughs> That's funny. And uh, it, that one didn't pan out, obviously, at 16. But hey, you 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 still were already trying it. So you were you you it never scared you. No, nah, hell no. No. And then I, uh, yeah, but 18 turning 19 is when I just start doing it consistently and shit. Okay. I, 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 I like straight the fuck up. Doing mics all the time. Yep. Mike shows, hoes. Oh, yeah. Getting, getting the comedy hoes. Patron. Host. Patron. So you drink Patron at 18. <laughs> That's so funny how Patron don't taste like, Patron don't taste like nothing. It's supposed to be the most like, it's not as potent as. Um, what, other tequilas? Yeah, it's like so smooth and shit. Do you like it? I guess it's better than other one. I hate tequila, bro. Yeah, I hate tequila. Why? I don't know, man. It's like something about it remind. Like I smell it and I go, this this smells like I'm gonna throw up in an hour. I don't know why. It's it yeah. smells like that to me. I have some epsilon in my cabinet that I like. I basically just keep it here for guests and shit. Yeah, and it is like disgusting to me <laughs> it's so gross to me but patron is so fucking smooth it's Super like it, it almost don't even taste like alcohol until you know what I'm saying? you start getting you drunk throwing it up yeah yeah you know exactly like? <laughs> do, you, uh, do you like tequila in general or just patron you're saying oh patron is real good yeah but I, i'm not like a, i'm not like a crazy drinker but no. i was like well while we're on the subject of patron <laughs> yeah yeah i was gonna be like i'll give you some epsilon but no, only <laughs> hey, patron give me a only. Drink, yeah yeah exactly i need to loosen up <laughs> yes Fuck, man. You don't like drinking a lot? Nah, because I, I, I actually don't like... I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty... Or at least I try to be healthy as fuck and whatever. But I, feel you. I do like... But but I but I have a drink and shit every now and then. I'm not like mm-hmm. no saint or nothing. Yeah, know? like not... I'm a sweetheart, I'm not a saint. Yeah, yeah. Jamar's a sweetheart, not a saint. <laughs> so 18... When did you go to the comedy store? When did you start doing stuff there? If I was 18 turning 19, then probably like mid 19. Oh, so that's when you, oh, so you've been there for a minute. Mm-hmm. And then you got involved with, because one of the things you got known for the most was roasting. Mm-hmm. And that was like, what, the past five years when you, because because uh, the roast show, if, for people who don't know, had the comedy store with Brian Morris has been going on for a minute though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe, okay, so maybe I'll say like 2000. No, because 2015, we were... It mm-hmm. probably started in, like, 2014. Okay. The roast battle. And is that when you were like, oh, shit, I'm I'm good at stand-up, but, like, I can kill it on this? I, it was, I was just there. Just there? <laughs> yeah, I was just yeah. there, and I was like, man, I, you know, I'm like, I, I fucking... I was like, this is... It was like, it's nothing. I lost my first few battles, though. Uh-huh. Because, because roast battle... Roast battle, um, it's it's different style than like roasting, uh, you know, you know, than like than like a, a classic like jonesing, roast. jonesing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm, I'm used to like, with someone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm used to like bagging on somebody and shit. Uh-huh. So uh, the more and more I did it, I was like, oh okay. I was like, I'm gonna take my you know the jonesing style, but uh-huh. make it palatable to the roast battle, you know. And then I yeah, I was and I start taking people out and shit, you know? 
People kill me too, though. So I'm I'm an easy guy to talk about. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you against Yamanika Sanders. I was looking it up before you got here. Yeah, yo, yeah. that one got like <laughs> freaking intense, bro. I thought she was gonna fight you. Yeah, that's she my got baby. up in your face and stuff. Yo, Yamanika's great. Yeah, she's that's so my baby. funny. Yeah, but she was talking about you. Like, I guess both you guys have been molested. I didn't know that. And she talked about that shit. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so f- and it's so fucking funny that uh, um, because people who were hitting me up after that battle and they were up to like, dude, are, 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 dude, are you okay? Like, you know, she, I know she said some things about. I was like, yeah. I was like, man, I was like, I didn't even give. I was like, I didn't even notice. I didn't even give a fuck. Like, yeah, you just seem. Yeah, you were you were very serious during it. I was like, and you were like, trying to focus bitch, on. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like, yeah, bitch, shut, shut, shut up. up. Yeah, <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> that's all, all you really wanted to say, <laughs> bitch. Yeah, yeah, shut, yeah. Shut the fuck up, you're fat. No <laughs> like, <laughs> gigantic ass weave, the, the, the size of half her body. <laughs> look at, look at, like Blanca from Street Fighter. Yeah, for real, yeah. for real. That is kind of what she was looking like. Damn. Yeah, that's my baby though, man. She cleaned me out though, man. She was good though. Did uh, I didn't finish the did. Did you end up winning, or she ended up winning that? She won. She won that one. Yeah, I was getting her at first in the beginning, but then she turned the fuck up. Yeah, she said that shit about her shitting you out when she uh, eats a dollar menu. I was like, all right. What she said? She said you look like something I shit out after I eat off the dollar menu. She said that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, you really don't remember. You were focusing. Yeah, people think like when when people are on stage, they're like listening to it and trying. What you're really trying to do is think about your next jokes. Yeah, because yeah. because as soon as she said that molestation thing, I was at the like, I I had like the one I said was like just off the cuff or whatever. I was just like, oh bitch, you just mad. Uh, oh, yeah, that's no the last time anybody was yeah, feeling her feeling or whatever, you, yeah, or some shit like that. And I was like, yeah, I didn't fucking. Did yeah. you talk about the fact that you were molested, or did she tell you that, or did you tell I don't her know where that? she got that information? from. Yeah, I was maybe like, she heard it off like a mixtape, off my mixtape or some shit. Because you also have two mixtapes on. I, I you you got, you got Wikipedia, bro. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, that? yeah. Have you done it yourself? Did you? Yeah, my edit sister. It yourself? No, no, Your my sister. Si- my sister told me about that That's shit. A, man, if, she for, was like, I was trying to look you up. Anyone on- that has a Wikipedia, I like for them to look at it themselves so we can see how 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 close it is to uh, to the truth. So we got Jamar Neighbors. Where's the Wikipedia? <laughs> Jamar Malachi Neighbors. Here we go. Here it is. Come on. So, mm-hmm. often credited as Jamar Neighbors, but now it's Jamar Sweetheart Malachi Neighbors. Dead, damn right. American actor and comedian. I am American. And using Keanu and What Would Diplo Do? What are you doing? What Would Diplo Do? Oh, I play oh. James Vanderbeek's. Um, I play his subconscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, like, only he can see me. So, we got two discographies. Naked. Sound and then... exchange money. <laughs> oh, and sound exchange money? <laughs> oh, that's... I'm not talking about naked. <laughs> oh, naked. We, yeah, we got naked and then the second one. America's nigga. Yeah, I can only see the first part. Three Ks or three Ks, KKK. like a real one. Yeah, you man, you <laughs> so you brought corny. that up before Black Klansman. <laughs> yeah, you those might, you thieves. took that from you. So so we you were rapping as well. What is are those is those those are those you rapping on there? No, those what are stand up. Those are stand up. Oh, you tapes. said mixtapes. I thought you were saying, oh, but but the but the America's nigga is a mixtape. Okay. Yeah, you can get that shit on that piff. That piff, that piff, because okay. because we have like it's it's mixed with like music and all that shit, and oh, so okay. like it's it's basically scored. Ah, all right, yeah, it's uh, it got a lot of fucking heat, man. Like that's dope. Yeah, and Chris, yeah, I think Chris Rock's doing an album like just like it. Wait, so how is it scored? So your stand up jokes are, sc- are scored. scored. So there's music behind them. Mm-hmm. That shit is hard, man. You gotta listen to what? that. And I'm not even saying it because it's my shit. It Coach T, DJ Coach T, he's uh-huh. a DJ out of LA. He mixed it together, and uh, he's a genius. Let's see if I can find it right now. Nah, that right there. Oh, right here? yeah, there was a write up about it and all is that. This, shit. You think there's a video? No, no, no. There's no video. There. Like I can't hear it. Uh, it's this one. This one. Yeah. That piff. Yeah, it's that one. That shit is, uh, what are we doing now? Oh, would it be on Spotify or anything? It's not on Spotify. It's just on that Piff and SoundCloud. Is this it? Yep. I'm breaking into my neighborhood and there's a real suspicious guy. This is George Zimmerman. Uh, oh, this is George Zimmerman? Um, Talking. The address I can give you is 111 Retrieve Circle. Black or aesthetic? Oh, this is- 
Okay. Let's mm-hmm. it. <laughs> you know, my mom always said, uh, y'all gonna smoke whatever I cook in this house. Oh, okay. She's like that. Oh, that's sick. Okay. I'm not gonna make you listen to your own goddamn jokes because that's Thank you, horrible. Man. Yeah, don't worry. Like- I don't even think that shit's funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, because you, you <laughs> listen to stuff you did three years ago. You're like, why am I? Oh, so he had just a background score yeah, of the entire time. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Mm-hmm. How'd you get involved doing that? He just hit me up and was like, yo, because he, he loved, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a fan of my comedy and uh-huh. shit. And he was like, oh, it's different, man. It's like, you know, it's this, this, this. He was like, it's like one linery, but it's not. He was like, I could throw some. He's like, he, he sent me the concept of like one of my jokes or whatever. Okay. And uh, uh, with one of my jokes and shit, and then he, um, and it was scored, and I was like, I like that. He was like, Yeah, man, let's make a whole album of it. And I was like, All right. So I would go up to the comedy store, do the belly room, like uh-huh. every week for like I don't know, probably like six months of just doing oh, like shit. just material, material, wild material. And they'd be recording it. Mm-hmm. And then he took it all together, and then he meshed it up, and then we came out with that thing right What's there. What's the DJ's name? A uh, DJ Coach. T T E A. T. Does he do anything at the store besides that? Yeah, he um you, there there's his show called The Funny Dance Show that just got uh-huh. picked up for VH1. Uh he's the DJ on that. He's also the DJ on Roast Battle when you see the DJ. Oh, okay. Oh, he's the one that Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, that's him. And he's also doing Chris Rock's uh he's also scoring Chris Rock's new uh comedy album. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing shit now, that's man. That's awesome, bro. Mm-hmm. Yep. You put him on. Yeah. When you see him, though, you go like, "Yo, man, I started you out, right?" <laughs> we put each other on. Yeah, no, no, no yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah. So that, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's awesome, man. Yeah, man. So, so what's going on in your life besides stand up? What do you? Uh, I mean, comedians, we do. Is there shit you're interested in besides stand up that you do? Is there stuff that you? I'm about to start acting, man. Yeah, I'm get some acting going. I want, I want. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out a. I'm trying to figure out a show like a. Some type of some type of way to my own TV show to get me on TV. Maybe some mm-hmm. something like a variety show or some type of okay thing. You know, like a a sketch show, something like that. Yeah, sketch show. Maybe maybe something about my where I grew up at or uh-huh. content somewhere. You know, you know, mixed with funny things that I fucking think about and shit. Yeah, or, know, or like, growing up like. The, the foster home or like with your aunt yeah. and all that shit growing up shit that yeah. happens in the neighborhood shit that happens in the world you know like maybe make a variety show out of that or whatever something mm-hmm. that doesn't make any fucking sense but it's cool to watch oh okay. it makes sense but it doesn't make sense but it's cool to watch That's, yeah yeah it's kind of like it's kind of like who i am anyway there's no like one like one connection to it it's yeah maybe it's like all some, over like some kind of anthology or some shit i don't know i'm trying to figure it out still okay yep that's cool is there anything besides uh, the industry that, that you like doing? I always like like knowing what uh, people are interested in besides. Oh, besides the yeah, industry. Yeah, yeah, just besides the industry. Mm. Yeah, fuck that, man. I want to know about you. Man, I want to go hot air ballooning so fucking bad. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. <laughs> that shit looks so fun. <laughs> Hell I mean, yeah. I believe you. I mean, yeah, that shit looks dope, bro. Yeah. Wait, you you want to go hot air balloon? Yeah. You want to go? You want your little sweetheart to go on a hot air balloon with yeah, you and shit? Yeah, man. Yeah. My little sweet ass heart. Sweet ass heart. Yeah, my little sweet ass heart. Yeah, some, some fun honey <laughs> go up there. What uh what made you want to go hot air balloon? Nigga, don't that shit look fun? Yeah, I mean <laughs> I'm like, that's why. <laughs> I want to go hot air balloon. It look fun. <laughs> so you're a pretty simple guy, man. You just you just think about, oh, what would I want to do? That shit looks fun. Let me go try it out. Hell yeah. That shit. Hot air ballooning, word. And then I wanna go, I wanna I think I'm thinking about like traveling, like Okay. Some shit. I want to go see some Northern Lights somewhere. Okay, you want to go to like Iceland or some shit like that? Not Iceland, though. Not Iceland. That shit well, look cold. Yeah, it is cold, bro. Yeah. It's cold as fuck. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but you can see them from Alaska, though. Maybe I'll go there. You don't think Alaska's cold? Oh, we're going to go through probably the summer? As, probably not as cold as Iceland. I, is it? I think Alaska is higher than Iceland. What? What? I right, hold on. Let's let's check this let's check this out right well, now. I gotta go see these green lights <laughs> that everybody's talking <laughs> That's what about. You call them the, the green lights. <laughs> Let me go see them green mile lights. Hold on, green. <laughs> Where the fuck's Alaska at? Man. Yeah, bro, Alaska's up here. I, oh damn, they're kind of on the same. Oh, There's, they by each other? Yeah, no, I mean no, they're not by each other, but they're on the same like line of uh, latitude. Check it out. Look. All right, this is Alaska right here. All right. 
and Iceland's right here. See? Oh, man. That's yeah. over there. Yeah, bro. Yeah, so you can choose to either go up this way. Shit. Or you, if you're in L.A., you go up this way. Yeah, you might as well go. You might as well go to Alaska and see that shit. See Instead that. Of, see that bullshit. See that, see that bullshit. <laughs> freaking lights. But I don't. I still look like it could just fucking go under at any minute. Look at that thing. Which is it so small? Hell yeah. You don't know how. It, I mean, just because it's what you think Hawaii is gonna go under any moment. Yeah, that shit look crazy too. <laughs> I would never go to <laughs> no. <laughs> do you think it's gonna? <laughs> do you think it's just, just gonna? All sink? those fat ass Samoans and shit, dude. <laughs> that thing's gonna go under. <laughs> and all those active volcanoes with it. That that thing's going under. It's gonna be like Atlantis. Oh, it's just gonna. That's what Atlantis is. Atlantis. Think, Atlantis is just the old Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think it's gonna go under like this guy? Oh, who the fuck? <laughs> this nigga's trying to do me. Fat nigga hits blunts. Then once, then dies. Get smoked like that blood. (laughs) (laughs) Nigga's about to die. (laughs) Hey, hey, hey! (laughs) This nigga just died on YouTube. Wow, I love it. That's a good video, huh? Yeah, man. All right, tell me, tell me what you think about. Uh, you like cats? Hmm, them niggas be them niggas make you sneeze. I like to show I like to show comics this to see um <laughs> how, how how fucked up they are. You okay? All right. Mhm. Right, let's watch this. You what? What were you gonna say? I like cats the most when they acting like li- when they acting like tigers or leopards. Oh, when they and fucking shit. shit up. Yeah, like when they kind of like. Oh, when they're like crawling slowly. Yeah, like, I'm like, oh, this nigga, he doing some leopard shit right now. Like <laughs> it was crazy. You want a leopard cat? You yeah. don't want a regular cat. You <laughs> want some shit that's like, like it, it's in the wild. Did you know that if you go to uh, that if you go to the zoo or you go anywhere like a lion or some shit, if you flash one of them uh them laser pointers uh-huh. at him, he won't do shit. Oh, it's just cats. Yeah, yeah, it's cats and uh and a lynx. A lynx would do lynx it. Were, okay. Yeah, yeah, but but, a, but, real but the big cats, they don't mean like what the fuck is that? Oh, so you were like, so so your plan was to go to a zoo and then fuck with a yeah, lion? Yeah, nigga. And- I, I, yeah, I went to the L.A. Zoo. Oh, you did it? Yeah, nigga. I, was fucking, <laughs> <laughs> I took I took a red laser and I was fucking trying to flash it in that like to see uh-huh. if they, that shit don't work. No. Nah. And so I Google, so I Google, and I was like, "Oh fuck, that should only work with like little cats, maybe like a bobcat. You could do it." Uh huh. I was like, "But the tigers and all that shit, they like, get the fuck out of my face, man." <laughs> Somebody <laughs> push this nigga in the tank. <laughs> get that shit out of my face. But <laughs> yeah, put him in here, so I'm gonna fuck him up, man. Let me see. All right, let's see this shit. This is a cat. Janner right? saves cat. Okay. This is a. Uh, Sanders about to watch. He's about to make this. Let's see what he oh <laughs> shit! Oh! <laughs> but did it live? Did it live? Fuck what no, life bro. was it on? Go, let me see that shit again. <laughs> what life was that thing on? <laughs> oh, wait. you think it had one of its nine lives, bro? It lost all its nine lives. Oh, because it was ten <laughs> floors. <laughs> wait, I gotta see this shit. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Let me see. <laughs> that nigga is dead. <laughs> you want to know the best part? What? The guy filming doesn't say anything and just follows it. Have you noticed that? Watch this. So there's some guy's filming on his phone. <laughs> he just, he just, he, just pan, <laughs> he just pans down. And it went on and, YouTube like... <laughs> Upload. <laughs> like, give me my money, YouTube. Like, <laughs> tries to monetize it or some shit. Dude, do, does he get? Do, do those guys get money for that? I don't. I Look mean, how many views. Oh there shit! Is. Two million. Does he get money for that? No, because there's no um, there's no ads. Oh. I think if he put ads on it, maybe YouTube let me see some doesn't of them allow. Comments. Yeah, let's see what the comments are on this. Because <laughs> my favorite one is actually it's called jander saves cat mm-hmm. so people look at it and they think oh it's gonna work and mm-hmm. then you know see the comments says 
I hope the reception desk is okay. <laughs> Scroll all the way down. That's where the little fun. That's where the real funny ones be. I haven't laughed this hard in a while. That's gotta hurt. Proof that cats don't always land on their feet. I think the comments are worse as far as the concept than the actual video. There are two types of people watching this video: people who are hurt and sensitive towards animals, and we shouldn't make fun of them for feeling upset. It's a sore subject. On the other hand, people who aren't bothered by this aren't as sensitive and but shouldn't be called harpless people need to chill that person yeah, wasted <laughs> this cat got trolled so hard it died <laughs> play it at 0.25 speed and play i believe i can fly do that <laughs> no, I, <can't. laughs> I don't even know how you would do that bro was using <laughs> a swiveling mop to try to save that big epic fail damn a lot of people Same said this shit Damn! <laughs> How could you ever? How could you ever read all the comments and then comment the same fucking thing? Yeah, I know. What do you? You need to read the comments if you're doing that. And I, I love the comments because they're just regular people just, <laughs> just saying some yeah. wild shit. Where do you? Where do? Where's your favorite? Do you? Do you like the comments? Do you like comments? Like, do you always? I'll read them. Oh, I like reading comments and shit <laughs> that people say. I read those more funny. than books. If re- you read more comments than books, <laughs> yeah. Where do you go to read comments? Shit, man, it could be the most random article, you know. Oh, so you read the article and then you read what people say? Uh huh. It could be a crazy article, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, let's see what the let's see what everybody fucking thinks about so this. The just, real. You read the headline and, and I, then you don't read the article. I don't. I ne- and I don't read the first five. Those are all bullshit, man. Let's scroll all the way down to see what the real funny people why, are talking why about. Why is it? Why the first five bullshit? Because of the newest ones or no? Nah, because they're upvoted. They're like they're never the funniest comment. Yeah, it's all. It's always that. It's always that. <laughs> it's always like comment, like maybe like forty seven. That's like, man, that nigga look like da 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 da. Oh, or you know, say ro- like roasting some shit. Yeah, yeah, or like I don't know. I see some roasting. Really That's Iceland's so, gonna go under. What do you say? Iceland's gonna go under. Iceland. You really think Iceland is gonna just just <laughs> and Hawaii? Just <laughs> Hawaii I- for sure. Iceland and Hawaii. Wow, just all of them are gonna just just be gone. That's it. You don't like mm. islands. Jamar not, Malachi doesn't like islands. Not that I don't like islands. I just don't believe in them. I'm like, I don't what believe in them. What does that in, mean? You don't believe <laughs> just, in don't, islands. I don't believe in the <laughs> architect. I don't know. I think that thing. Look at that shit. What, bro? It's an what island, is this bro. It's right here. What this? No, that. That's Iceland, bro. No, no, this. Oh, this little tiny ass island. Yeah. Let's see. Who's from there? What's it called? F- the far the Farge Islands, F A R G E, right? No, or Pharaoh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh Islands. I don't know, man. Who's Maybe we can get our first listener in the Pharaoh Islands after this. Yeah, that's will hashtag it. <laughs> you just called this entire country trash. I'm like, <laughs> so good. You don't want to go there? If someone if someone paid you to do comedy out there, would you do it? How much are they paying me, man? Hmm, how much? How much is it gonna take? Shit. That's the real question. Let me let me tell you this. Huh. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'd do that spot for like for like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm not you much just of a said, you just said that like it was uh like it was gonna be a low number. <laughs> like, yeah, give me ten thousand, we'll go to the Feral yeah, Islands. Fly me, <laughs> give me ten G's, fly me out there. <laughs> and put me up in a five star hotel for three days. And I'll come tell you about crack and how it was in the eighties. <laughs> Faroe though, Islands. Yeah, even though you were four years old. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I think. I'm gonna you're gonna tell them how you how you would do crack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. you had been there. Yeah, I was okay, so I was walking um I was walking down I was walking down A Street uh-huh. real late at night. It had to be like at least four o'clock in the morning. That's where all the crazies are out, right? A Street, yeah. So I um West Village. But like, but like mid, but like midtown. So it was like thirty third Street and oh Eighth Avenue. You mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. So I'm over there, and I and I and I had this thought, and it really made me happy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was like, man, I was like, man, when we find, when we find aliens, mm-hmm. quote yeah. unquote, okay. on Earth. Yeah, I'm like, why are we always surprised that there is an alien on Earth? If we are in outer space, we are technically in outer space, aren't we? We're all we're all Earth. in space. We're yeah. on Earth, but we're still in space, right? Yeah, everyone's in space. Yeah. So I was like, so why are we so fucking shocked when we see a fucking when we see a fucking alien or some shit or some like some weird sea animal that we've never fucking and like? It's all a part of it. It was like 
You know what I'm trying to say, right? Well, you mean if we if we run into an alien not from Earth? But but that's that's the thing though. How do you know that nigga don't live here? How how, <laughs> how, how you know how you know? <laughs> oh, how you gonna say that he isn't from? Yeah, Earth? how you gonna say he came from fucking Saturn or he came from fu- yeah. a, a fucking galaxy far far away when that nigga could have just been living in Faroe Islands, Islands. <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, so yeah. I was like, so I was like, wow, that is poignant. <laughs> I said to you, myself, you, smelled smart, you felt smart as fuck at 4 a.m. So, yeah, so I walked up. So I, walk, I was like, man, that's crazy, right? And then so I walked up to this 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 black crazy. She was like, I don't know if she was homeless, but they were, she, she definitely wasn't. She could have had her shit together. She looked a little crazy, but she I looked I, a little off. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I walked up to her and I was like, I was like, ma'am, ma'am. <laughs> and I was like, listen to this shit. <laughs> and she was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, Okay, okay, okay. So you know how we're on Earth, right? <laughs> and you know how we find aliens. It's four o'clock in the morning. I'm wearing this fucking mohawk and yeah, shit. Still... I look just as crazy as everybody else. So she's like, he's one of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why she listened to you. <laughs> and I was like, ma'am. And I was like, I was like, I was like, if we're on Earth, and then sometimes we find aliens, then how come we're always surprised when we find an alien? This is all outer space. And then she was at the like, <laughs> she um she didn't say anything, but her dude, her dude, he had a wife beater on. It's like a nigga. He had a yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, uh, and then he walked up to her and he gave her a cigarette. And uh-huh. then he looked at me and then uh, he was like, can I help you? And I was like, hey, <laughs> I was like, ain't this shit crazy? <laughs> and, then, and then the way he was looking at me, I was like, he's going to stab me. I'm just, ah, I just forget it. <laughs> Never mind. He's like, why are you talking shit to my girl? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'll just say it at the Village Anner tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll see you at the Village <laughs> You're like, I'm trying to expand your mind, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that You know what that reminds me of? I just it's read so, Cosmos. I just watched Cosmos, you man. You watching Sorry. Cosmos? I try to watch it. Mm-hmm. You interested in that shit? I fuck with the Cosmos, yeah? man. Yeah. Neil deGrasse? I fuck with, well, I fuck with, like, you know, the the fucking space and all that space shit. Space in general? Yeah, it's cool. Questions about it? Yeah. It's pretty cool. How long you been running this podcast? <sighs> We're on this is episode 106. 106? Yeah. 106 episodes. 106 episodes. Sick, man. Straight, bro. 106 episodes I straight. I'm fucking and we're, mad at it, man. And we're, uh, we're yeah, which I used to have a co host and uh, then I killed him. So, you know, for real? Just, <laughs> he dipped out. He wanted to do more stand up and he lives in Astoria and he was being a bitch about coming out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't want to come to the city. Bitch. Yeah, he's a bitch. bitch. Yeah, he's like, call him a bitch. Say, Freddie, you're a bitch. Dude, Freddie, you're a bitch. <laughs> He's also the whitest Jew, most Jewish dude I know. <laughs> he's like red hair, thirty three. He's he's a character for sure. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, man, we've been doing it, and it's. I mean, the thing I like the most is just. I mean, that's a pretty pretty crazy ass thing you just did. That when you went and talked to him, so you know, like talk to that random person. Yeah. So I, I like talking to people about like shit that makes them different or like quote unquote a psycho or crazy yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's some psycho ass shit that you just did <laughs> i didn't even fucking realize yeah, it because no. i because I, I, i'm like were you I, sober yeah i was sober <laughs> i was like i think i'm like i'm like <laughs> oh wait, this is nothing to me yeah. I'm like i um you yeah. like doing crazy shit like that i didn't think it was crazy or not crazy I mean, you like you like talking to random people or if if i have if i have a yeah i mean i'm I do it in I do it in L.A. Like in L.A. Like that's like we talk to everybody. Talk to you know what I'm people. saying? So I'm yeah. like, yeah, yeah. So I didn't think nothing of it and shit. I just thought that everybody was open for conversation. <laughs> like, I mean, they are, but well, they, but her dude might come up and uh, <laughs> almost break your neck. Can I help him. you? Yeah. <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> All right, man. The stars. <laughs> Let me, let me, hey, y'all watch Cosmos? <laughs> you pull out your phone, connect to the internet. All right, let me, let's watch this real quick, and then I want to talk to you about how I think aliens could be from this very own planet. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that it it is crazy. Mars is in retrograde. You believe in that shit? Mercury, I mean, Mars in retrograde. All I that still shit? don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I'm a parrot, man. I know <laughs> what you mean, <laughs> Jamar. What are the ideas in your head, bro? Well, okay. Well, this is what I really think about Mars being in retrograde. All right. I think I don't think Mars in retrograde. I think that we are sending stuff up to Mars, uh-huh. right? Like we're sending like little uh, fucking probes and all that yeah, stuff. all that shit or whatever. I think Mars is just getting angry. Okay, and it's and it's facing towards us, and it's <laughs> and I think it's ready to shoot some shit off <laughs> towards this motherfucker. So you think there's some? There you think there's life on Mars? And they're about to fuck Earth up. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're doing that shit where you're like, I'm a, I'm a, 
I'm gonna drop some knowledge right now. But if it sounds dumb as fuck, I'm gonna just be like, I'm just gonna like, I'm yeah, just kidding, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a sweetheart in you, bro. I don't believe in, I don't believe in my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I mean, who knows, man? You, you're trying to tell people about uh, about fucking about aliens and stuff in the ocean. You believe shit. that shit about what aliens? Are they? I mean, they're only aliens because we don't know what the fuck they. Because we don't know what the fuck they're. Real they're names, aliens yeah. if they're not from Earth, though. But how do you know that they not from? Like, how do we know? That's what I'm saying. Um, if they come from outer space and land here, then we call them aliens. But you're telling, you're saying hypothetically they could have left this planet ten thousand years ago. I'm saying them niggas could have always lived on this planet. Okay, so if you just run into one, but I'm saying if these dudes come from space, land in a, a spacecraft on in washington dc they're aliens they're not from earth right has that ever has that ever has it, no 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 it, this is hypothetical because okay. you haven't met any regular aliens on this planet have you i don't know it could be i've seen some ugly motherfuckers <laughs> though like where i'm just like man where are you from <laughs> like you quite ugly, hard bro where is that <laughs> from the Faroe islands man y'all <laughs> ugly as shit <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I think aliens could be from. Other, I don't think they're from from our uh, from from our solar system. Mail. What do you what do you, what do you like to talk about? What do you mean besides? I mean, I like to fuck uh, space. Space. Uh, space. I looking at um, what's that third one? Nothing. I, mean, I, I talk about space. I talk about. Uh, I mean, I'm, I talk about fitness all the time, but I don't know. If fitness is the yeah. shit, bro. Fitness is the shit. I do. Yeah, I go. I do boxing, man. I do that. I've been trying to get into that. Like, oh, I got a. I got a bag at my gym. Yeah. But I don't. I don't have like a boxing instructor. Where do you go? Because there's a cruncher on the corner, and they just have a bag, and so I'll just hit it with some some gloves every now and then. Oh, okay. It's fun to do. It, gets, to- it gets it out. Actually, I might do that today. Shit. Yeah, I used to go to crunch. Yeah. At the one in LA, man, them niggas is gay up in there, bro. <laughs> like the one in West Hollywood. That's West Hollywood, bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> but still, <laughs> well, what, they hitting on you and shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> you tell me you fucked a guy in the in the sauna. <laughs> well, that, that's how that, that's how you get in the gym. <laughs> and they had a heavy bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, man, somebody was telling me how they used to have a how they used to have arranged circle jerks. In, no in, way. In, in, in the West Hollywood one, who was telling you it? Was uh, it a straight dude or was it a gay dude? Uh, this is a gay nigga. He, he, and he oh. gave me a pamphlet. No, <laughs> he did. He's like, no. Oh. <laughs> that, yo, that would be wild. That'd be some a, wild shit. A pamphlet. A pamphlet. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I wouldn't expect there to be a pamphlet about <laughs> circle jerks, jerks. But if he told you about it, I'd be like, well, if he's saying it, hey, then- nigga, you dare me to make one at home <laughs> and then like start handing them out on the, on the corner do. of Forty Second? Please do, bro. <laughs> and take video of it and tag me in it for real. I want. I want to see that shit. I don't. Yeah, man. The fitness is working out. I like. I like. To, I talk about that shit. Yeah. I, I like doing it. It makes you feel good. I like. I've been really obsessed with like trying to. My brothers are in the army, and um, oh. they've started like firm. You know, you know what kombucha is. Yeah. You drink that shit. I was on it for a second. It's mad good. I like it a lot. Yeah. My brothers make it themselves. So, why'd you stop drinking it? Mm, I mean, you just over it. It's it's a lot. What do you mean? I mean, it's, it tastes like a lot. You know, like it's a lot. Going, it's very vinegary. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's. It's just a lot. Were you making your own? No. Nah, why would I ever make my own kombucha? Do you oh, make your my own kombucha? brothers make my own kombucha. Or oh, make for real? Own, yeah, they brought it down. Mm. Not going to lie, this shit was kind of fire. For real? Yeah, but oh. I'm always worried that, that my dumb ass would fuck up and like the bacteria would be bad and then kill me or some shit. How do they make that shit? They have to like let it ferment. You you um, you um get a starter culture and then you put it in this like gallon container and then you put in um the culture and then I think... Uh, some sugar or some other stuff to feed the bacteria in it. And then you let that shit sit out like in the sun even. And you let it like cook and carbonate. And then like after a week or every couple of days, you got to let the, uh, <laughs> you got to let the <laughs> carbonation out. <laughs> I'm, I'm making the, the, the movement of opening the top. You got to let the carbonation out. And then you do a second fermentation where you put like berries and shit in it to give it some more, some more, or, uh, some Your brothers food. do all this? My brothers do this shit, yeah. It doesn't take that long. It sounds like a lot. I'm like, yeah. damn, nigga, you should just be a fucking chemist. <laughs> or like, you should just like... They do it. They, yeah. they told me about it. I've made my own bread, though. Like, I've made sourdough bread. 
That ain't how I make my kombucha, man. I, what I do is I <laughs> wring my dirty gym drawers out <laughs> and I'll put a fucking lemon in that bitch. <laughs> Not funny Jamal at all. Malachi's kombucha. <laughs> Not funny at all. Homemade. That would uh that'd be goddamn disgusting. Workout. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, man. Working out is just shit, man. Yeah, man. When did you get into it? Like when did you first be like, oh, I'm gonna do this forever? I was always, I was, you I was always like, into it. My cousin, like my older cousin, they used to always like lift weights and shit. We were always big? No, no, no. no. I was I was a, I was a skinny guy, but I was always kind of like cut a wiry. Bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go for that. Getting ladies with your six pack, man. Mm-hmm. Kind of, but not a lot. Not not no more. What bitches is over these six these these six abs? They're sick. They're sick of them. Yeah, they're sick of them. They're sick of the abs. You know what I do sometimes is yeah. I like to uh, I'll I'll paint my abs like pink sometimes, and then I'll get like little red, you know, little cherry heads. You mean like from. From like like, like, like they're lemon heads, but they're cherry oh, heads. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put them on my abs and shit like that. And I fucking, just like in your room, mm-hmm. waiting and, for them. Yeah, and then I invite bitches. Off. <laughs> they eat that shit. Off. Eat that shit off. Yeah, and then yeah. they leave. That's it. Yep. Yep. I don't, t- I don't want no head. I don't want no head. <laughs> <laughs> like, just eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> not not eat my ass. Eat my ass. Eat my ass. <laughs> eat my ass. <laughs> no, I'm saving the ass for later. Eat yeah, my yeah. ass. <laughs> I'm like, no. You into that freak? You need any freaky sexual stuff? Yeah, man. I I, st- I want to get pissed on so bad. What? I want to so bad. Why? I don't know, man. That you, shit looks cool. You just you what? You watch porn with it, and you're like, oh, I want to do that. I never seen it on porn. I don't want to watch it on porn either. No, but okay. I but I but I have but I have wanted it to happen like like from from a chick or something. From a female. Yeah. What? Uh, have you asked a girl to do it? And she just said no. I, I've, I've, to- I've messed around. Like, I mean, I've kind of like just threw it out there, but I was like, no, no, no. But it, it gotta be like, you gotta be like the right girl or something. Any bitch yeah, can't yeah. just piss on me. Yeah, you yeah. can't just have any girl. Uh, um, you gotta make sure you know she didn't. She she ate the right stuff, so it's it's not too much. And yeah, yeah, yeah. She's well hydrated. And what about you? You, you believe in her? Did you ever get pissed on? I don't think. I mean, here's the thing. I've thought my friends have done it. One of my friends like was really into it. What do you say? He called it like water play. I think he did it in the shower or whatever. He he's he in calls it water play. Shit. It's called water play. I think so. Yeah, it's what's called. They, you know, they all got like weird names for it. I I, I think I'd do it. I, actually, no. What am I saying? I I think I'd like let her do it on my leg. I'd on your like, leg. Like, <laughs> you gotta get that shit on your chest. Your chest. <laughs> I don't want some bitch to like squat over me and shit, and then just her piss is all on my chest. What, what am I supposed to want to fuck her after that? I don't know, dude. You'll figure it out afterwards. <laughs> so, so what, what's your game plan? Walk me through this. You're with a girl. You're like, all right, this is the right one. You obviously you're going into the into the, the tub. You're not going to just have her do it to you on the bed. Uh, I did let her do it on the bed. Oh, especially my God, if, like if I was bro. if I was if I was washing that day or whatever, and I was oh, like, I'm gonna okay. throw these sheets up in there. Up in there, what's the name? <laughs> yeah, bro, but it's gonna seep into the mat. You gotta put you gotta put uh, plastic down then. Fuck it, man. I'll just I'll, I'll get, get some new sheets. <laughs> I'll figure it out. You want man. a little bit of pee, or you want like I've been waiting to pee all day? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, no, not a little. No, you got to do it all. You know why? You know why? Why? Because um, why I probably don't mind it is because I used to pee in the bed. Oh, uh, you used to pee on yourself. Yeah, and it was warm, and I remember it being very warm. Yeah, it's a, and I mean, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, but that's you peeing on yourself in bed, bro. That's not on your. <laughs> <What is it? laughs> Oh, oh! I thought it was the same thing. <laughs> Wait, it's not. <laughs> he goes, "Oh shit, maybe I don't want that shit <laughs> that anymore." Yeah. Nah, you're gonna do it. I'm gonna do that. You're shit. gonna do that shit. And I'm gonna come back you're to your podcast. It. I'm gonna, gonna, tell gonna tell you all about, about it. it, dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> we can only you, talk you about that to. for an hour. Yep. We we really could talk about that. Are right, you gonna get get peed on? All right, <laughs> get peed on you. Have... Yeah, I I don't know anyone who's done that. But I mean, you say you have friends that did it. I, oh, so besides my one friend, like, but haven't done it in a while. I don't know anyone in New York has done it. Uh, my I don't trust these bitches in New York. Why not? I don't know. Like, this girl, mm-hmm. this girl, she was at a, she was at a, at a mic or something. Okay. She said, she said that she had herpes and shit, and then she said, and then she said, like, New York has like. A high amount of, of STDs and this and this and that. And I've heard that in LA too about New York and shit. And I was more like, than LA? Yeah. 
Don't look at me like I got fucking STD, bro. <laughs> Jamar's looking at me like, get your dirty ass dick away from me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, all these bitches. <laughs> well, you gonna wrap it up then, bro? You <laughs> wrap it up. You gotta, you gotta, no, your dick, so you don't get the STDs. Uh, I'm good. And then, and then, and then sometimes, and then sometimes I'll, I'll come out here, uh-huh. and then I'm like, and I see all these beautiful women and shit, and I'm like, I don't even know how it even. I'm not. I'm when I come here, I'm really strictly on business and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, but even if I wanted to, I'm like, I'm like, I don't even know how I would ever even fucking talk to these women. Talk to like it can't be the same way you do it in L. A. Right? Well, how do you how do you talk to girls in L. A. Oh, you just grab them by the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he was waiting for that. I feel like that's Hi-o. something you do here, bro. Uh, here, uh, here we go. STDs are surging in New York City this year. Goddamn 2017. right. 2017. See? God damn it. STDs hit all time high for third year in, in the US. New York Post. I'll read that. Let's see. Let's see how let's see how close tomorrow is. Okay. You're more than likely to cat you're more likely to catch an S T D in Alaska than any other state. Okay. I was trying to go to Alaska, wasn't I? Oh, sh- bro. For the Northern Lights. See that Uh-oh. green shit come out no, the sky. Don't, you got to go to Iceland then, bro. Oh. Okay. Damn. 484 per, per 100,000 people. Mm, mm. Vermont was the most STD-free state. Vermont? They got, they, got, they got comedy in Vermont? Yeah, they got comedy in Vermont. Yeah, you go up there. New York ranked 13th most STD-infected state. Damn. What about California? Let's see if they have California. No, they got California. I'll look up California. Well, we clean out there. You got to be clean, man. It's the television entertainment. Oh. What? What? This is May 24, 2018. STD rates increasing what? in California, bro. I did fuck a lot of bitches uh, at this week. <laughs> <laughs> Unprotected. Oh, shit. A report from the California Department of Public Health points to a 45% increase in STDs. What? Counted more than 300,000 cases of gonorrhea committee. Uh-oh. Damn. Uh-oh, bro. Damn, people under the age of 30 are the most common. All right, so you're good. Yeah. But these girls you're fucking better be 30 and up. I don't know if they are. They are, man. They are? They you, are. You like you like girls your same uh, your same age range? Yeah. I like a little range. older, low-key. Really? Like how much older? Like if they... Not low key, but a high key, bro. Only thing, though. Huh. Only thing about like yeah, it's like for forty year olds, fifty year olds. It's like they groaner and shit, and so they're. But like a twenty seven year old knows how to book, and she's like uh-huh. in her whole and she's like more in her whole phase. Yeah. But then I guess women go through another whole phase in their forties and when shit. When they're right? older, and then they're just like, "This is what I. This is what I want. This is what I'm into. Yeah, let's get at it." I don't know. You got a girlfriend? Nah, I had one for like four years. You did? And then I'm just, yeah, I'm doing just... When did that end? Two years ago. Yeah. You still be thinking about it? I was for a while until about six months ago. That shit is whack, we huh? Started, we started hooking up again. We fucked for like a month and a half, two months. Yeah. And then uh, I decided I had to stop. I mean, she, it wasn't like she was hitting me up. I was mostly the one hitting her up, but she wasn't saying no. But yeah. I decided it was like fucked up to her that I kept hitting her up. Yeah, it does suck. It sucks thinking about it. What, you were, you were thinking about your last ex for a while? Now, I don't even remember who my last house was. <laughs> um, nah, I think about I think about the first one like like every now and then or whatever. But uh-huh. I know that we could never be together. Like, Why not? Two totally different lives. All different people. Yeah, like she um like I'm out here doing this mm-hmm. and she's like a church girl from like oh, Shanaheim or whatever. So damn. But that is different. Yeah, and the bitch all married and shit to oh, a fat nigga. <laughs> <laughs> How could you leave me for a fat nigga? <laughs> she wanted the exact opposite of you. That bitch. So she, so she married a, a f- probably fat, unfunny dude. A fat. All he do is I be, I be going on his uh, Instagram sometimes. On his Instagram, <laughs> I'm like, what's this dude about? And they all he does post Bible quotes and shit. He's like, I want to look up his Instagram, but then it's gonna be on the. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no don't okay. worry, don't worry. <laughs> but <laughs> that's mad funny. He posts Bible quotes. Yeah, and I was like, man, I was like, you you're lying. whack. You I was like, hey, nigga, you whack. <laughs> <laughs> you should comment some shit like that, but yeah, they gotta be on a different account. <laughs> they have no idea that I look at their Instagram. Yeah, I mean, how would they? <laughs> Yo, thank God we can't see who looks at our accounts. It would Dude. drive us crazy. It's it's bad enough that I can look that I can see who looked at my story. Yeah. Like I comment like I posted some shit, was like, yo, ask some questions, and then every person that I look at 
who looked at it and didn't say anything. I'm That's like, scary. I'm like, yo, what are you doing that you didn't ask something? Fuck you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then also, also they can look at like what you've liked too. On yeah, Instagram. you can go and yeah, like I can literally go to uh, like what people have been doing and look at their activity. And I and and that's why I'll see and nowadays I'll see things and that I like and I'll rarely even like it. Oh, because you're like someone's because I'm see like this? I'm like what if somebody sees somebody? I mean, what if somebody see something that I Sometimes like? Sometimes I've, I've I've like a like a girl with a fat ass on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I'll just look at it, but I won't like it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I don't want. I like it like weirds or like a panda fighting or some <laughs> shit like that. Like you, you you have a video of a panda fighting. I follow pandas uh, on what? On, yeah, nigga, I love pandas, Wait. dude. They they they, they 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 help your mood out. Like they like. Wait, they, what? Pandas are pandas give me peace for some reason. Wait. They're like a peaceful looking animal. They're so cute. What panda do you follow? Uh, is it we love pandas or some shit like that? We love. Is that what it is? Pandas. Mm-hmm. Someone got 60. What, this shit? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love pandas. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be panda cubs swiping. Ha- hashtag, it's so panda in, hashtag panda on Instagram. Something like let, that. Let's check that. Let's check that out. Oh, oh you, damn. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Tell me that shit ain't adorable. Tell me that shit don't do something to your soul. Yeah, that's cute as fuck. Let's Pick, see. Ooh, them some babies. Baby pin. With the music. <laughs> you telling me you saw this shit outside your damn house, nigga? You, <laughs> what would you do? You'll go fight with them niggas. <laughs> are they fighting or are they? Are they? Or you'll go play with them. Look at this one trying to get up on a tree. All right, let's watch it. Oh, he may fall. Him too tiny. <laughs> Yo. Yo, ladies, if you want to get to Jamar's heart, yeah, my sweetheart, yeah, cause he's he, you know what I'm saying, does some different shit. He loves these pandas, boy. Damn, bitches love niggas who love pandas. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, 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 I like. To, oh shit, that gotta what? be good. That one gotta be good. What a panda he's on a seesaw? Yeah, he's on a seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dylan. Come uh, on. Yeah, I fuck with this. And he's in a pool. Yeah, man. Some, some. I don't know what language this music is. This should knock the crust off your heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you look at when you're feeling a little upset. Hell yeah, that yeah. shit is so adorable. Yeah, you're hey, right, tag, me tag me in this. Tag me in this. Oh. What is it? Jamar underscore, underscore neighbor. neighbors. There you go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you guys are seeing a whole different side of Jamar with this. Yeah, man. Damn. What a. That's a. I think that's a. That's a pretty good place to end this. I like to end it with uh, a, a word from uh, the unofficial sponsor Plies on his Instagram. Oh. I don't know if you watch his Instagram. Plies had a fun. <laughs> Plies is funny. Watch this. I like 50 cents one too. Ladies, why wouldn't you fuck me? <laughs> First and foremost, the dick is phenomenal. <laughs> the dick ain't just good, lady. The dick is phenomenal. <laughs> Secondly, I got a bag. Yeah, a bag. Not just a six figure bag or a regular bag. The bag is massive. It's massive. <laughs> yeah. He's got a lot of money. Thirdly, I'm not just handsome, ladies. I'm what they call a dog. He's adorable, bro. <laughs> you ain't no sweetheart, though, nigga. <laughs> you, know, you, like you know, I get the best motherfucking quickest in the world. This is the best part. You know, and if you want to go 12 rounds, I knock your motherfucking ass out of 12. <laughs> the dick ain't had all this shots, lady. The dick ain't never had an STD. Uh-huh. You know, the dick is up to par. You know, the dick ain't just local. I would bring the dick to you. The dick is versatile. <laughs> so the question ain't, why would you fuck me? The question is, why wouldn't you fuck me? That's the question, bro. Why why wouldn't you fuck Plies? Plies made great fucking music, man. He, he did. He better have bags. He, what happened to him? He made great sex music, too, man. I used to fuck a gang of hood rat bitches off that shit. <laughs> nah. No. I never fucked a hood rat bitch. You never? It's, a, it's, it's, a, it's in my... I'm, I'm trying to make it happen. Along along with the piss. Along, <laughs> bro, you do the piss first, and then you tech, you DM me and tell me how it is. What? And then if you really like it, 
We'll get it. Well, I, I'm not even trying that shit out. Uh, but you got to test the waters because you're at least into test it. Test the piss. Test the piss. Yeah, test the piss waters, okay? And then I'll bring, I'll be like to the girls. I'll just be like, yo, ladies. I will bring the dick to you. <laughs> And then, and then uh, when you try and fuck these bitches, and they're asking about if you <laughs> you've been tested, you're like, the dick ain't never had an STD. Whoa, I didn't say all that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's taken care of. Yeah, yeah I'm good though. You can tell them it's good. It's yeah, all man. good. Yo, yeah. man, it was fun talking to you. Hey, man, it was mad fun. You're fun Thank dude. you for having me. And man. Uh, I'm happy I got to have you on this. I'm happy we we met at. Uh, that random mic. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. For, you know you, it's how it usually works. You go on Joe Rogan and then I see that and then I go, you know what? Maybe I'll have him on my show. You know? Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. That's, that's how it goes. It goes Joe yeah. Rogan, then my show. Shout out that's to Joe the, Rogan. Shout out to Joe. Yeah. I also did Champs too with Neil Brennan. <laughs> and now- okay. Just, dro- <laughs> just, just dropping his other super famous podcast. Oh, yeah. I've also up. done. <laughs> but, and, uh, uh, you're on uh, Jeremiah's show a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I've done like one episode and shit. Man, oh, man. you only did one? Okay. Yeah. You and him have been boys for a while, huh? Yeah, man, that nigga's a mad fucking cool. He's one of the funniest fucking comics. Him and Willie Hunter, the other guy with the, the wave, guy on it. He co-created the yeah. Carmichael show. Yeah. How um how'd you meet Jeremiah? Just doing stand up? Stand up. As a matter of fact, we didn't. I was doing stand up. He wasn't doing stand up. Okay. He, he was doing improv, and there was a workshop, and I would show up to the workshop, and then he would be in the workshop. Okay. And we just do improv and shit together. And you just clicked that way. Uh. Not quite then, oh, yeah, but because okay. I didn't know anybody and shit. But then he uh-huh. started doing open mics and shit, and then you know, like you're like, oh, I fuck with this guy. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's crazy. Yeah, he's yeah, he's cool yeah. as fuck. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. He is. He's um. I'm gonna probably end, I might I might try and have him on this because he's a funny dude. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, amazing. Hit him up. Yeah, word. Yeah, well, man. Um, but so, thanks for hollering at me, man. I yo, really appreciate 100%, this shit. dude. You're an interesting dude, and I think you're mad funny, and you're also like you know. You're your Jamar Malachi neighbors. Like you're, you know, you're, 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 you're your person. You're a hashtag sweetheart, bro. You want to get pissed on and you love pandas. Like that's, yeah, man. That's that's a that's a lot. Yeah, and man. And I and and I also may get married. Oh, one day. One day. You know, after he's thirty five and he's after I'm thirty five, he's gotten fully. Uh, you know, or it can happen this year. Yeah. Oh shit! Or, or it can I oh, say, shit. after my after my frontal lobe <laughs> fucking frontal fully, fully develops. Fully develops. <laughs> uh, this is coming out. On the nineteenth, uh, is there any shows in the next week you want to plug? On the nineteenth, yeah. Um, oh yeah. You can look at your phone. It's on the nineteenth. Yeah. So then I'm doing a show at the West Side Comedy Theater out in here. Here, yeah, the West Side one. Yeah, up on like Seventy Eighth Street. Yeah, I'll okay. be I'll be there at eight o'clock on um on the nineteenth, and I'll also be there on the twentieth. Okay. And I'm also doing Joe Hill's show in Harlem. I forget where it's at, though, but um, on the 19th. And then I have uh, some more dates on the 24th and 25th and shit until I leave. Word. And people find you online? Yep. At Jamar underscore neighbors. Also, uh-huh. also uh-huh. go to Dat Piff and, okay. and, and listen to America's Nigga, the mixtape. It's three okay. Ks. Okay. And then everyone knows how to spell everything. Yeah, else. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Dapiff, D A T P I F F T D A T P I F F. Look up his second comedy album and check out the first one, Naked, too. Right? Yep. Is, yep. is Naked on Dapiff? No, 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 no. That's on. That's on like uh, Pandora and all that Pandora shit. And or you can buy it iTunes. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Dope. Yep. And you got it. And your uh, Instagram's Jamar underscore neighbors. Yep. Jamar underscore neighbors. Guys, catch them on there. Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week. God bless. With Be Clear. Thanks, guys. We all go a little mad sometimes. Haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you?